Kendrick Johnson with it. My, my man, the best pound for pound analyst in the UFC game, Chell Sutton. Chell, what's your take on this whole John Jones situation? <sighs> One word, I, I was surprised. Yeah, I was surprised. So, so the way this all worked is uh, last night Dana announced there's going to be a press conference in 20 minutes, and I have uh, uh, substantial news. That was the quote. And none of us knew what it was. And you got these rumors about the sale going on. You got all these different rumors, you know, so that was a speculation. But nobody even fantasized um, that this was going to be it. And then the press conference started, and Dana uh, gave one clue. Somebody in the audience just said, hey, are, are we here for some kind of a USADA thing? And Dana said, yeah. And uh, Dana, who's, who's never speechless, sat out. He, he, he was so disturbed by that, he didn't even give the news. He took a seat himself and had somebody, uh, you know, Vinsky came out and, and, and said what had happened. And, yeah, we were all just stunned going, oh, wow. Didn't, uh, didn't think that's what this was about. What's your take on John getting in front and actually answering questions? You know, in today's time, read the statement and boom, the fact that he left the stage and got yep. composed himself. Like, it was weird. It had a little of everything, which is what John Jones' career is, a little bit of everything. Yeah, so, you know, for, John's a really cool guy. He's a really likable and nice guy, uh, contrary to maybe some perception of him. At the same time, today was a day to come clean. It was just to come clean. Here's what happened. Here's what I'm accused of, and, and either I'm sorry or uh, I'm going to man up and, and just take this because I did it. Whatever, whatever the case would be, but this was the time. And, yeah, man, they had some show in there. John did not leave because he was emotional. Uh, his PR gal came up to him, told him to leave the stage. Then she made a statement that he was emotional, which he wasn't. The whole thing was staged, and she, she acted like she could fool us when we're sitting four feet away. He came back, and later he got emotional. I, I, I think rightfully so. I think a miss on John's message was... Uh, that he was the victim. Um, you know, how did this happen to me and I'm going to come back stronger? And I think that was a little bit of a miss. I think what some people wanted to hear is, listen, I did some bad things. I got caught. Whatever, whatever it could be, but a, you got to take responsibility. If you're going to hold a press conference, you got to take responsibility. What's your, what's your take on the PR lady? Because like she was like this random lady that showed up. We, we, we're we're pro pretty pretty well connected in, in the UFC circles. Who was she in? What was your take on that? I haven't the foggiest idea. I, you know, I'm very I'm very annoyed with her entire thing. First off, she let a client go. Rule one in PR. I mean, first off, you don't show up unless you're you're, you're coming to come, Candace. Second off, you show up with a prepared statement. I don't like prepared statements. I'm just telling you that's PR 101. He reads something, he walks out of the room. I respect it a lot how John did it. To come in and face the music the way that he did, to take questions the way that he did, that he didn't know what they were from complete strangers. I really appreciated that. John wasn't emotional. He didn't ask to leave the room. She went up and scripted that and told him to walk out of the room. She then makes a statement to the crowd. She then comes on and says, I assume you all know who I am. Well, wh why? would you possibly assume we would know who you are? She then dresses the media down with a scathing statement and tells us all to keep, keep it in mind. And it's like, listen, lady, let me explain PR for you since you don't understand it. We make the rules. We are the media, and we will put the message out. And you are here to first win us over with the hopes that we then help to win your client over. You do not scold the media. She then, prior to this, gave a statement to keep the longevity of her own career about what a hard worker and great and honest guy. She might as well have just said, look, it looks like I'm going to be out of work for two years, but John has some money and I keep, hope he keeps me on the payroll. Because that was the message she was giving and just thought we were too dumb to see it. And last she was a disaster. She was a disaster. And we don't know who she is. <laughs> you got a name? I have the foggiest idea. <laughs> and last one of these, what do you think of John's future holds? Uh, look, John's going to be in some red tape. You know, he's going to be in some red tape. The minimum... Uh, the minimum, if they were to slap him on the wrist, would be two years. I also think that the minimum is also the maximum. I think that two years, while well, 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 maybe that's the least you could do, I think that's the most you need to do to him. Um, he's going to be tested. He's going to be right. You know, he's going to be all those different things. But but two years is a long time. They took his belt. They took his money. They, you know, his, his rep. It, it's a tough spot. John's in a tough spot, and uh, uh, you know, he's a rare talent. And contrary to, to what a, a lot of times we don't get to see the real John Jones. Um, we see it today. He's a cool guy. That's the thing. You know, he's a very likable and nice guy. He is young. He is successful. He did 
you know, he gets caught up in a hurricane or two. That that is true, and I, I think that some people can relate to that. So, don't kick anyone when they're down. Anyone that's watching this, just remember that message in life. If you want to kick John Jones, wait. Wait for two years till he's back on top. Say what you want about him, but when a guy's down, uh, you give him a hand up, and that's just a rule you need to follow.